Hi this is our first tutorial video of Adobe Premiere Pro, the best video editing software by Adobe and used by all editors over the world. In this video I am using Adobe Premiere Pro version 2022. You can download it from Adobe's official website. If you need any help regarding downloading you can contact me. Let's get started. When you open the Premiere Pro for the first time you will see an interface like this. Click on Create New Project to get started. In Name you can rename your project. Enter a name for your project. In the Browser option you can choose a folder where you want to save your project. This is very important because in future, if you want to do some edits in your video you will be able to find your project easily. To do it simply click on Browse button, choose the folder where you want to save your project. Let's say I want to save my project in this partition. I am going to create a new folder for it. Let's say this is our first video, so I will create a new folder as day one. And I will save my project here. In render you will find different options like Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration and Mercury Playback Software only. I recommend GPU Acceleration because it will use your graphic card while editing and specially in rendering the video file. Thus you will get better and faster speed as compared to using software only option. If you have no graphic card installed in your computer then choose Mercury Playback Software only option. Keep the display settings as time code and audio samples which are by default. Keep scratch disks and ingest settings as default. Then click on OK button. When you created your project you will see an interface like this. You will see four different windows. This is your project window. This one is the source window. This is a timeline and this one is a program window. Anything that you import into Premiere will be shown here. Like video clips, pictures, audios etc. In source window you can preview your clip or media. In timeline the files can be edited. In program window you will preview your output or edited files as resultant file. You will see some tabs at the top of the screen, such as learning, assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, and graphics. We will explain it all in detail. You can adjust all windows as you want simply drag it to left or right and top and bottom. These are some tools that are used while editing the clips, we will also explain them in detail. First, let's import video files into our project. Before importing make sure to keep your videos or source files in the same folder where you saved your project file. It will help you to locate your files easily and save time. If you randomly import files into the Premiere and then you move your files it will affect your project, you will need to locate the footage in your hard disk and then re-import it into the project. So it's better to keep the files in the same folder where you have saved your project files. To import your files simply double click on the project window and then import your files. Or right click on the project window and then click on import files. You can also drag and drop your files into the Premiere. Even you can import a whole folder if you want to import. Please make sure to keep all your data in one folder such as audio, music, graphics, clips, and anything that you are using in a project. Make different subfolders for each. Like keep the voice in one subfolder and clips in another subfolder. Thus it will help you a lot, and your data will be analyzed. Once you have imported your files then you can view them in a thumbnail view and a list view. The thumbnail view will show the video thumbnail, while the list view will show the complete details of the video. Like video dimensions, audio details etc. It's very important to keep your data managed within the Premiere, and create folders for each of your data. It will help you to locate files in the Premiere easily. To create a new folder simply click on the folder icon or right click with the mouse in the project window, then click on the new bin. Name your folder, I am putting my video files in this folder, so I will name it as videos. 
Once created simply drag your files into the folder. Now to preview your video file, simply double click on it. And you will preview it in the source window. In the source window, you will find some options like a marker, mark and mark out, etc. If you click on the plus icon you will see some more options. These are some basic functions that are used while editing the videos. We will explain them in detail. Mark in and mark out options are used for marking the specific part of the video. It means if need only a second layer of water from these clips. So I will add a mark in the option where the layer starts and mark out the option where the layer ends. It means now from the whole clip only the specific part of the video is selected which we have marked. Now I can drag this video file into a timeline to edit it. Please remember if I drag this, by clicking on video it will drag both video and audio. And if I drag from the video option it will drag video only. And if we drag from the audio option it will drag only the video of this clip. Since there is no audio in this file therefore an audio option has a bit low capacity as compared to the video option. For now, we need only video, so I will drag from video only option. Now our video has been added to the timeline. I am adding another video so simply I will select it. I will mark my specific points, and then will drag it to the timeline. Now you will notice that the second clip is a bit smaller on the screen as compared to the first clip this is because the second video has a smaller resolution as compared to the first clip. The first is 3840 by 2160 while the second clip is 1920 by 1080. To scale it to the frame size simply drag it to the frame size. Or right click on the clip and then click on the scale to frame size. No, if we look at our timeline we will notice that we have selected the first clip as a bit longer as compared to the second one. Let's say I need only start 3 seconds of the clip, so I will pause the video at 3 seconds. Then I will select a razor tool and will split my clip. Then I can simply delete it or right click the choose ripple delete. Now I want to add another clip, so I will simply import another clip let's say we need only start 3 seconds, so I will put a mark out at 3 seconds. And then I will drag it to the timeline. We have merged 3 different clips, and did basic editing in our video. You will see the resultant file on your program window. Let's watch out our resultant video.